Do I get to tell him that's the upwind side? Okay. So you want me to use the autopilot? Yeah. Um, we're going to be taking off at 2.8. So you're in the soup at, at 400 feet. Autopilot goes on at 800, and we'll fly runway heading until we get to 1,000 AGL. Okay. And then we'll turn on route. So. And uh, pick your poison for altitude, 3,500, somewhere up there. We're going east. Okay, so we're going to want the autopilot. So you've got the autopilot in heading mode. And um, now here's the other thing. So you've got that. Here's the autopilot uh, on. Okay, so it's, it's ready to go there. So what we want to do is put it in heading mode, altitude. And now for the altitude, you're going to use flight level change. And believe it or not, because we're sitting on the ground doing nothing, you have to do it with nose down to get it to the speed you want. There okay. you go. And then once you're airborne, all you got to do is click it on. Okay. You ready to go? Yep. Time up, uh, 1900 Zulu. And Lake Simcoe traffic, and There's a thousand AGL, you can turn on route. So nap. Uh, it's more than two dot yeah, it's more than two dots off, so you're gonna have to um, uh, begin the turn with the uh, actually what you do is hit a direct two at this point. Yeah, That'll center it up. Enter enter and then nav. That'll take care of it. See, once, once the index gets more than a dot off, it right. won't go back. Yeah. You're under the hood. Doesn't matter that we're on autopilot. Okay. Okay, now that you've established on route, don't forget to center the bug. All right, so flaps are up, lights are down, fuel pumps off. Post takeoff complete. Simco Topic, uh, Echo Yankee Zulu is clear of the zone. Uh, departure to the southeast, uh, Simco. Uh, so we're we going to be going into the uh, R now for zero 05, my well, assumption. We don't know that yet. No, I know. But actually, let's get the waypoint page up. Uh, so again, it always starts with the big dial. Yeah. And just go to the waypoint page. And then when you're on the waypoint page, you hit the weather button. Right now, what have they got? Zero two zero twelve knots. That's clear. It could be zero five then. Yeah. That's going to be my assumption. Well, you're sort of receiving the ATIS already, so why don't we listen and see? Not that one. Actually, leave it on. What you should do is just touch the compass. Oh, that's it. Approach our nav runway three zero. Landing and departing. Well, they're using three zero. Inform the that you have information to you. Okay, so we're going to go our nav three zero. So we'll enter through Dutut. I love it when you talk dirty. 
So minimum safe is 3100. Uh, we can go down to 2100 at Dutut, which is uh, runway heading, and go to Urbeck. Okay, uh, here's where I still don't yeah, understand. Like, uh, are we flying the LPVs? We always, we always fly LPVs, okay. and we can go through that. That's a theory thing. Yeah. Uh, you're capable of LPV, which has a lower minimum, so you always choose a lower, more precise approach if you have the choice. Right. So, uh, our minimums are 696. Now, if I were talking to center or terminal right now, it's I would. Just, I sorry, would. there's something funky with the folly plan. What is it? I think it's got us Ken Lu to, the to uh, the airport. The airport. Yes. yes. And then, the then the approach. The yes. So don't we want to get rid of that? No. Uh, the flight plan is always to the airport until you initiate the approach. Gotcha. Okay. Right. Because when I looked at the, uh, I was about to, I was about to actually talk about that. Okay. So. The fact is, we're always going to the airport until you're clear to the approach. Right. And so, what I would recommend if I was talking to terminal or a center at this point, we're within how many miles of the airport? Uh, Ten yeah. loads to the airport. It was on the flight plan that you just turned off. But 20, there 27. we go, 27 yeah. miles. So I would be on on the horn right now, saying we're intending the RNAV via Dutut, right. and they will say, okay, go direct Dutut. Right. Right. All right. So I would, instead of 22.9, I would have been tuned into 33.4 now, and I'd be speaking to a terminal about flight following right. and my intentions. So um, at this point, you'd say to them, well, you know, we're planning on the RNAV 3.0. Can we go direct due to that? And they'll say, yes, you are clear to the approach. And then you activate the And do it. So why don't we do that now? And then we'll let Ottawa, Oshawa know what we're doing. So it would be uh, procedure, activate approach. Bingo. And now if you go look at the flight plan, by the way. Yeah. Yeah, so it's got it all in. So new dead, then map up. Yeah, so I mean, if I go back through the flight plan, it was to Kenlu and then YOO, but now we're going on the approach. Right. And we're direct due to it. all beginning to make a little more sense now? No, absolutely, it makes sense. It's just, uh, you know what it is, is, and that's why I love these videos. Even though I'm not going to publish 90% of the videos that we take. You watch them. I watch them. And, it, like, you'll see, you're seeing my flying getting better already. Oh, yeah. Because I do a lot of chair flying. A lot. Of, I think a lot about what I've been doing. And that's kind of the way I, I need to learn. Like, I'm maybe people, other people are different. I'm not sure that I'm a natural pilot, but... Um, you know, I can learn what I need to learn to be able to fly and uh, and handle the plane. Yeah. By the way, despite that last landing, you are getting you you have good stick feel. Yeah. Yeah. Not bad. And it's never. I'm very hard on myself, so I'm never happy with the way. Uh, but my landings are actually really good, generally. Yeah, they are. Um, uh, you were you were just chasing the glide slope up and down a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when you came across the threshold, you were too fast. Yeah, I was trying to get down. When you, yeah, when, yeah, you were too eager to get on the ground. Basically, that was it. And if you cross the threshold too fast, then you're going to float. And again, if the wind builds up closer to the ground, which is sort of unusual, but it happens. Oshawa Tower, uh, Diamond, Charlie, Fox, Echo, Yankee, Zulu. Echo Yankee Zulu, Oshawa. Oshawa Tower, uh, Echo Yankee Zulu is about a mile north of Port Perry. Uh, we'd like to do the simulated RNAV for 3-0. Echo Yankee Zulu. Echo Yankee Zulu information, Hilo is current, and I'd like you to squawk 1203. Let's squawk 1203, and we have Kilo, Echo Yankee Zulu. Echo uh, Yankee Zulu, what was your point of departure today? Uh, was Simcoe Regional, uh, Echo Yankee Zulu. Jake and Kizulu, the simulated on-nav runway 30 approach is approved, and uh, I still don't have you on surveillance as yet. Report uh, due to that, ma'am, uh, joining the approach. Uh, we'll report due to uh, Echo and Kizulu. Echo and Kizulu Tower, uh, score guide in. Ident, Echo and Kizulu. Okay, let's put her in approach mode. Echo and Kizulu Tower, be advised, no Ident uh, seen there on the surveillance display. Uh, just to confirm, uh, the squawk was 1203. 
Yeah, 1203, I think I have you, but I'd just like to confirm if you would give me an ident, please. Uh, uh, will it, ident, echoing still. Yep, it's confirmed. The radar. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Identified approximately uh, five miles east southeast of Fort Perry, 3,500 feet. Roger. Roger, I think so. We have leisurely time now to do the pre landing checks, and uh, it's probably a good thing to do. Pre landing in this plane is kind of boring. I know. <laughs> Echo Yankee Zulu, uh, about two miles uh, to the northwest of Dutat is a Cessna, possibly doing stalls. That's why I'm going to point him out to you. He's currently at 6,000 feet, so there will be no issue if he stays at that altitude. But just keep a lookout. As I said, he could possibly be doing stalls, and he'll come down to your level. Looking. We'll keep an eye on uh, Roger Echo Yankee Zulu. That's all good news. Vertical prep. And it's armed. There it is flashing. Yeah, give it 500 feet per minute. Echo down. Yankee Zulu Tower, see your type of aircraft. It's a Diamond DA-40, uh, echoing Silva. Roger. Okay, so our lights are on, fuel pumps are on, flaps not yet. Echo Yankee Zulu, what are your intentions after this approach? It's a full stop landing, echoing Silva. Roger. So at what point do I turn the um, altitude down? Um, well, now it's just going to capture the glide slope. Hotel Zulu, Julia Tower, but, right on uh, we're inbound, inbound now, so you can set it down. to the runway altitude. And then after we capture the glide slope, you're going to put it on the uh, missed approach altitude. Which is 3,100 feet. So in theory, 46% or 47% should give us 90 knots in level flight. Also inbound Cessna, 2,500 feet. They'll be following you in. Oshawa Tower, Echo Yankee Zulu, inbound map app. Echo Yankee Zulu Tower number two, following Cessna short final. Echo Yankee Zulu. Lights are on, pumps are on, first notch of flaps is in. Yikes. Ride him, cowboy. Yeah. Holy smokes. So, with this kind of bouncing around and this kind of wind shear happening, carrying an extra couple of knots right turn. is not a bad idea. Echo Yankee Zulu Tower, clear to land runway 30. Clear to land 3-0, I can't get Zulu. Oh yeah. Sorry, go for this here. Tango with Kilo. Pops up. Get a farm echo with Kilo. You can turn direct the numbers now. Number one. Time down. Recorded. Romeo Zulu Delta Tower, turn base. Base. Echo Yankee Zulu Tower, exit right zero five. Contact ground one one eight four one off. Echo Zulu. 